So why follow us on this journey? Well, let me tell you. My partner, Susanna, she's from these parts. So when I say these parts, we are just there. Yeah, she's an artist. She's clever. She's my, I've said it before, she's my beautiful encyclopedia. And here is our spawn, I joke. Here is our son, Cedar Beady. He's our fluffy little child who loves all things green. Say Acanthus mollus. Well done. Yeah, he's learning, folks. Soon he's basically he's growing up to be a lovely horticulturalist, a little gardener, my little right hand man. And then there's me. I'm a gardener, me. I've been it's 15 years in the making. And well, I like to sort of call myself a horticulturalist, a horticulturalist with permaculture tendencies. And like I say, I say it again, permaculture. So why are we here? So here is our croft. It's a 10 acre plot and it's pretty much eight acres of boggy peatland and two acres of pasture. So it goes from the peaty lock all the way to the sea lock. So listen carefully now, this is, these are our plans in a nutshell. About here is where we want our house. Lovely views, eh? Yeah, a humongous shed right there. And not just any shed. I want it filled with aquaponics, hydroponics, microgreens, mealworm farm, mushrooms, you name it. I'm gonna give it a go. So this my shed's gonna be consisting of and the odd pallet and all my storage because I don't want to miss pee off the missus. And we also want to turn this place into a studio. So if you're any artists out there, you want to do a residency up in and out of Hebrides, North Uist, hit us up once this is done and dusted. So on this side, please excuse the mess, on this side will be the studio. And then on this side will be the surplus shop. So we're not gonna have a shop open all the time, but just in case like we have food to sell or we have art to sell and so on and stuff like that. So this will be it. We also want to put in lots and lots of trees. And I say lots and lots of trees, lots and lots of trees. So trying to create like a nice native woodland. What, what the place used to be like and what it would be like if there wasn't so many deer here. And right now I'm standing in the little patch of our land still. And it consists of maybe two dozen trees. And most of them are spruce. A lot of them are dead. And there's a lot of spruce and alder and rowan and so on and stuff like that. So we want to kind of implement loads of different windbreaks just to kind of lessen the wind in this place. Because I tell you, this is by far the windiest place I've ever been in my entire life. The windiest and the wettest. And here is another old croft house. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. That's about a strip club. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You know what? I think this place would be, because it's so close to the sea or the sea lock, I think this place will mostly be a maybe a ward garden, like I'm trying to make like a little microclimate, like a little mini food forest or something. This bit here, this little section just here, this bit and that bit has been worked like crazy. Apparently it's got sand, it's got good fertile, it's got all different types of soil. And look at this poor rowan tree here. Poor guy, all windswept, but it's still alive. It looks dead, this is autumn time now, or winter I should say, hit me wrapped up. Oh, I forgot to mention too. My missus is, is talented, look, she weaved this for me custom made balaclava people if you want anyone you want to know her instagram put at the bottom of the screen now follow her she could make you one but what i was saying is this section here i'm going to turn it into some bee friendly like a bee's wet dream basically all the flora and fauna are going to love this place you see the starlings upset up there on, on the um, electrical lines and so on and stuff but i want to bring the kind of the town to this place i want to make it the most i want to make it fertile i want to make it green i want to make it scream Bees. I'm going to hear the buzzing from miles off. That's what I plan to do to this place. And that's what I plan to do up there. All at the same time I was making soil. So we're fortunate enough, because the house is not built yet as you can see, have you seen. So we're fortunate enough to be renting out this lovely house right here. And my lovely landlord has given us the thumbs up to use the croft. It's pretty small in comparison to where, what we've got at the moment. But at the same time, it's a nice place for me to fine tune all my remedies and techniques and so on. So 
as the croft it is pretty boggy it's a peat bog people it's really squelchy very very squelchy so as it's really squelchy i've been slowly improving the soil but not just myself yes i've been composting but with my feathered friends my 10 feathered friends <laughs> So thanks for watching guys and if we share some similar interests and you want to learn and garden on the way because like I said I'm more of a horticulturist than anything sorry about the birds they're excited so yeah if you if we share common interests then stick with us consider subscribing and again thanks for watching if you got this far and peace and hugs and remember it's not just my agenda it's yours too